Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft and today I'm going to share with you all the items that I'm going to use for my 2020 December daily album. You've probably seen some of the supplies from one of my paper issues haul videos. Um, I'll have that linked below. But then I also picked up the things that were missing like the album. So I always like to do D-ring albums. This is a six by eight Echo Park paper company six by eight album and it's got a cool snowflake print um, with the little edges in gold. Let me see if I, I can actually open this up just so I can show you what's inside. It doesn't come with any pages and I was going back and forth between this one and I think it was a simple stories one that also didn't come with the page protectors but it did come with like some themed dividers and I thought that would be really cool. But ultimately, um, don't need that either. Ultimately, I decided just to do this one. So it has the two D rings here, pretty easy to open. And why do I like the D rings? Because it means that you can add extra elements to your album. It's much easier to do that. Okay, I'll just leave this border on because I can't get it off for right now. And I also like to add my Christmas cards, do hole punches, and insert them into my album so I can, you know, save the cards that people send. Um, so this is six by eight because it didn't come with any page protectors. I purchased them of my own. So I have ones that are just the full six by eight. I have uh, two four by sixes, and then I have a four by six with two, what are those, three by four. Um, so that way I can do kind of a, a variety of different type of page layouts. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And I also think the, po um, the pocket pages will make this whole process a little bit easier than trying to just do like whole uh, big, big complete layouts. Um, so anyway, so I got a bunch of Pretty Little Studio, Ellie Studio, and Studio Tecturic Christmas stuff. Um, I also am going to be purchasing the Coco Vanilla Studio Merry and Bright collection, but I don't have that yet to show you. So the Pretty Little Studio, these are Christmas cheer, um, Starbright Vellum die cuts, just a fun little embellishment. These are the bowl of candy number tags, so perfect for numbering the days that I'm doing, especially, uh, I'll probably, I think I'm going to be doing all 25, um, but it's, it looks like there are some um, duplicates as well, which is kind of nice. So these could be for this year and next year. Then these are some pretty little studio tis this season word die cuts, so great for making uh, titles for the pages. And then we've got some journal pocket cards. So again, this is going to be awesome because I've got these pocket page things here. So this will be really easy to slip something in as decoration, create kind of my own like embellishment card or use them for journaling. Um, what is from Pretty Little Studio? These are the frame die cuts, oops, which I just think are adorable. So some of them are actually pictures and some of them are frames. Some of them are little tags with words and looks like there are a few little um, extra ephemera pieces in here. So I'm excited about this one. And then for Ellie's Studio, the Deck the Halls puffy stickers. Again, words that are great for doing titles. Um, a few little embellishments and, and word tags, word tabs there. And then I also got the elf approved stickers. So these are really, these are going to be great for, um, and they're pretty, pretty much the same colors, just like red and green. Um, I like the pretty little studio has a couple other sort of bright and happy colors that aren't maybe your traditional Christmas colors. Um, and then also speaking of maybe not traditional Christmas colors, Studio Tectric, these are the O badges from their Chris the Peachy Christmas collection. So there's a little bit of like a light pink and peach in this collection. And these are the badges. And then I've got a bunch of paper, Studio Tectric Peachy Christmas number nine with this cool tree pattern. And then some more cut apart so I can use these as well. Mix them in with the pretty little studio ones. So that'll be good. And then I really like this star pager, star paper. This is Peachy Christmas number four. And the back has this cool ombre polka dot. This is Peachy Christmas number three from Studio Tectric. I got some of the Pink Fresh Studio Christmas collection called Good Tidings. So we've got some more of those same shape of cut aparts, but then a few smaller bits and pieces as well. And then this has just words on the side. This is Christmas gifts from that Christmas collection. So of course, presents, you could do fussy cutting for these. Um, and then just a, a little bit of a pattern here on the back. Uh, more Pink Fresh. For, this is Season of Joy pattern paper. So got a lot of cool uh, Christmas icons on there. And then this has like stamps. So you're mailing your Christmas cards and, and letters to Santa. I really like this one in this sort of white and uh, like light blue. Kind of reminds me of snowflakes. And then you've got the city grid. This is called Holiday Walk. This is the other side. Um, so that's pretty fun. Also from Pink Fresh, 
This side has leaves on it, which is, could be good for fall, but I really do like the frames on this side. And again, I think these are going to be nice to cut apart and use them in the pocket pages and kind of build up my own, um, like I said, cards and embellishments and, and whatnot. So this is where I'm starting. I uh, got my album, got the page protectors, got some paper and lots of embellishments. So I am looking forward to getting started on my December daily album. If you guys are doing one, let me know in the comments what uh, paper collections that you guys are using and are you doing photo prompts? Are you trying to get a photo a day? Are you just kind of taking pictures as you see fit, as you do something that is holiday themed? There's no right or wrong way to do it. I also have a blog post that I'm going to be posting. Um, I'll have that linked below with some tips about about how to do a December daily since we are kind of in the middle of it. I meant to post it a little bit earlier, but uh, just didn't have the chance to. So um, no matter where you're starting, if you've already started, if you have no idea what you want to do, hopefully there'll be some tips in that blog post that you can, uh, that will help you out as you just decide to embark on this, on this extra <laughs> scrapbooking journey for this year. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Maybe I'll do a process video uh, for one of these pages. So make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.